one death to homelessness is too many. Two deaths this week in New Hampshire's largest city, both found by first responders in their tents. Now, Manchester city leaders and homelessness advocates are highlighting the changes needed within the system and the need for more help from the state. The collaboration between the state and our communities has not been happening. In 2020, Mayor Craig and several other mayors penned a letter to the governor expressing their need for more resources and affordable housing. This year, the state's Health and Human Services Department offered up $5 million towards homelessness needs. $4 million of that went to shelters to maintain or increase their capacity in winter months. We want this homelessness issue to go away. It's not safe for anybody to be in a tent. We are horrified by the situations that have been happening. Um, but at the same time, we need to balance the ethics of how best to help these folks um, help themselves because it's not something they can do on their own. Manchester's director of homelessness initiatives say that substance abuse disorder, mental health problems and trauma are usually associated with people that are homeless and a little understanding and compassion can go a long way in finding a solution. No one deserves to be in this situation. It could easily be any of us. If we could reduce the stigma around homelessness and addiction, I think that'll go a long way for people to kind of mount together their resources and their tolerance so that we can move this into a new level. Now, the governor's office for emergency relief and recovery has also committed $20 million to extend hotel and motel stays for individuals and families using the rental, the emergency rental assistance program. We're live in Manchester, Kelly O'Brien, WMUR News 9.